please bear with us because in our next film, biologist Ben Garrett, a little giggles from here, <laughs> yeah. uh, our biologist Ben Garrett promises to make you see them in a whole new light. Have you ever wondered what makes house mice so elusive? How they manage to squeeze through impossible gaps that are seemingly smaller than the mice themselves. It's like me being able to fit my entire body through this frisbee. The secret behind a mouse's gymnastics is its unique anatomy. I'm meeting with an old colleague of mine, mammal expert, Dr. Nick Crumpton. We're going to see if a house mouse can squeeze through a gap of just one centimetre. Hey, Nick, how are you? Hello, Ben. Nice to see you, sir. You too, you too. Who have we got here? Well, this is Benji, the mouse, who's going to be helping us out today. Hey, Benji. And this is the challenge you've set him? Yeah. So, we have this apparatus. We're going to start Benji off on one side, and we're going to leave him a little tasty treat on the other, and we're going to see if he can sneak through this gap we set up. And we've brought along a special one-show camera that will allow us to catch all the action in super slow motion. Now, it's a waiting game. That's interesting. He sort of tested it with his head to see if his head could fit through. Is it too small? Come on, Benji, <laughs> don't let me down. He's there, using lovely whistles. He's Lurries. got his head through. Oh, he's just squeezing the rest of his body through. Wow! <laughs> Let's look at that in slow motion. To start with, he seems so much bigger than the hole. But that won't stop him. The moment that head goes under, his whole body seems to just squish. Yeah. That's the best word for yeah. it. Yeah. He squeezed through that. Look at that. It's incredible. So how does Benji know he won't get stuck? What's really remarkable when we look at the footage is how much Benji was using his whiskers, mm -hmm. and that's because, unlike us, their eyesight is quite poor, so they rely a lot on their sense of touch. Mm -hmm. The amount of their brain that is concerned with receiving signals from their whiskers is actually bigger than the amount of their brain concerned with receiving signals from their pores. Wow. Yeah. So they really are sensing the world through these wonderful big whiskers around their face. Which makes sense if you're going into the world nose first. But how does he actually squeeze through? To really understand a mouse's secret, we need to look inside its body to see how the skeleton works. Incredibly, that is now possible with this, a fluoroscope. We've all seen X-ray photographs, but this machine captures X-rays as moving images. You can really see here that the head is the biggest part of the mouse's anatomy, and as soon as the head is squeezed through, the rest of it goes through quite seamlessly. Unlike us, with our big shoulders and, and smaller heads, a mouse, the widest part is the head. The shoulders, everything else is much narrower. And that is the secret that allows it to squeeze through such tiny little gaps. So how will the mouse cope with an obstacle course in a confined space? This will really test his agility. No problem. He made it look easy. What's really clear from this video x-ray is this snake-like flexibility of the little mouse's spine. And this is very different to how our spines work. Unlike our vertebrae, which are all tightly connected and really rigid there to support this big head in our upright posture, the little mouse is on all fours and it has these really loosely connecting vertebrae that allows this lovely movement. It's amazing with this technology to be able to see how the insides of a mouse work. And it's not hard to imagine just how these little animals can find their way into every nook and cranny inside our homes. Isn't that great x-ray footage, that?